Hello Catamounts, my name is Alexander Hoffman and this is Chats with Cats, presented by WeTV. In this series, I will be interviewing some of our amazing athletes at WCU. Today I have Trey Jackson of our men's basketball team here in the studio. How are you, Trey? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing very well. That's great. Uh, so, <laughs> first question. Um, if you don't mind, please introduce yourself and tell me and the camera uh, who you are and what you do on the team. Uh, I'm Trey Jackson, and I play on the basketball team here. I'm a guard. I'm a guard. I do all the guard things. <laughs> and what year are you? I'm a senior this year, fifth year senior. About out then. <laughs> um, yes, so I did want to uh, talk to you a little bit about something that I've also talked to Russell about, um, but tell me a little bit about how long you and Russell have known each other and played basketball together. Oh yeah, well, I was a new kid going to, going to Round Top Elementary and it was our se my second grade year. So I moved to a new spot in Blythewood, South Carolina, and then I ended up we go on a recess and then I end up seeing Russ playing basketball and stuff and then he calls me over to play and then that's when everything started. We was on the same team ever since then, playing AAU and doing different things together, getting wins, forming relationships, doing all types of stuff, having fun. So it was it, it was a fun experience and we're going to keep going. And then for the first couple of years of college, I understand you guys were both at different schools yes, sir. and then came back here. How did that come about? Oh, uh, well, my senior year, well, going into my senior year from AAU, I got an offer from Iowa State, and then I had a bunch of other offers and stuff, and then I lined them up, and then I just decided to go to Iowa State because I feel like that would be a good opportunity just to get some, some notoriety and stuff like that and play basketball, have fun. And then now I transferred to West Carolina, and now this <laughs> yeah. is what it is. Um, with being here on the team and your time here, uh, this season, actually, I know that you reached your 1,000 career points, which is – Phenomenal, um, but uh, how does that milestone feel being one of three on the team to get it this season? Oh, well, it's a blessing. You know, I don't really look at numbers a whole lot. I, I worry about the wins and want to get a championship and stuff. So, you know, it's a blessing to reach a thousand points, even though it took me five years to do it. <laughs> but, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, it's a fun game to play. And then just knowing that I'm able to have that, that blessing to be able to put the ball in the basket like that. So I just thank God for it. Yeah, very impressive milestone too. Um, I did also want to ask a little bit about what or who motivates you to be playing basketball. Well, I've been playing basketball since I've been three years old. So my father like put the ball in my hands from a young age. And then also just growing up, I've been around basketball a whole lot, watching it. You know, my favorite players were the Dwayne Wade's, Allen Iversons, and then seeing Michael Jordan and those type of guys too. And then now you got Kyrie Irving, all these, these great basketball players. So just, just watching how they operate and watching their lives and watching how they can balance basketball and life off outside the court is just, it's just great for me to see. And I can see myself doing it one day as well. Um, with um, that as well, how much of an influence would you say that Coach Justin Gray is on the court? Oh, he's a great influence. You know, he's a great guy too. Like he understands the ins and the outs of, of, of a student athlete or how he has to operate through, through basketball and through life. And then off the court, like he just talks to us about anything. It doesn't even have to be basketball, about life and everything too. So he motivates me because I one day want to be a coach as well. And then I, the way I operate, I observe a lot of things and then I can see how he's in his third year, he, he's acting like a veteran coach and how he's able to put us in the best places possible. So, and then he played overseas too, having that professional career. So whatever I want to endeavor after I finish college, he, he can guide me and put me in the best place possible. So I just feel like he's a great coach and a great guy too. You know, one thing I've noticed that is one of the biggest things for me is how much of a community that for sure. uh, Justin Gray instills in the team because you guys hang out outside of just mm -hmm. see you at practice next week or tomorrow or whatever it may yeah. be. It's a constant family kind of thing. Like you said, it's all about family and it's all about camaraderie too. Just having that family feels big for a program, big for a culture. So, and that's what we preach culture. So whatever, whatever it takes to win, we're going to have to do it. Yeah. He is great at it too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but this uh, series isn't just going to be about the athletic side. This is also about you as a student because a lot of people kind of tend to forget that college uh, student athletes are also college students. Sure. Um, people will say things like, I forgot that they even go to classes sometimes because I see them on the court and that's it. But you guys are doing stuff outside of athletics, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. Would you mind telling us 
your uh, major and minor? I'm a, communi a communication major. Don't want to add the S. That's what they tell us every class. So I'm a communication major. And then I'm a minor in management. With a, I'm in concentration of public relations and communication. So, you know, it's been a fun field. You know, I, I, at my previous school, Iowa State, it was different from what it is now. You know, it's more psychology over there. But here is more about, like, public relations, more about media, more about other stuff like that. So it's just good to get those two sides, you know, going into whatever I feel field after, after college. Yeah, and speaking of after college, uh, do you plan on grad school or what do you plan on doing with your degree? I plan on graduating and then just using my degree. You know, I want to be I want to be a professional athlete, so whatever that takes. And then after, like whatever that goes on during that, you know, if it en endeavors for me to come back and be a, and get that grad school or whatever I need to get a better degree, then that, that's what it takes. But right now, I'm just focused on the basketball. Yeah. Um, what would you say your best memory at WCU is? It can be something athletics related. It can be something completely not. I would say just the journey right now. You know, I'm a person that lives in the moment. So, you know, every moment has been great being in Western Carolina. And then I know, like, outside of basketball, like we went on this, this trip, this camping trip that I went on with a couple of my guys and then some, some uh, people and everything, too. So we had some fun doing that. I've been on hikes around here. Like I'm a nature type of guy, so when I when I go outside and see the sun beaming and everything too, and then we can go on those trails and see the great landscape and great environment of, of Western Carolina, it's just good to see. So, you know, I, that, that's really just the main memories for me, just being here. And you're from Columbia. I'm from South Columbia, Carolina. South Carolina. Though. So yeah, you don't have those mountains exactly. there. So. Yeah, and then I went to Iowa State, so I was there in the cold for a little bit, flatland, but it was, it was fun over there too. So. Lots of change of pace yeah. makes the mountains even better, in exactly. my opinion. Exactly. Um, I do have. One last question for you. Um, it's a little bit unrelated to the academics or the athletics necessarily. A mm -hmm. uh, bit of a fun question. So uh, what is your go-to artist to listen to before a game to get ready? Oh, I like that. Uh, I got a variety of people, you know. Uh, I listen to everybody. My favorite artist is J. Cole, but it's more of just like what I listen to. I know music, like it, it, it puts your life in a different type of spectrum when you look at, when you use music, you can use music for different ways. So. I kind of I listen to a lot of jazz, a lot of classical type music too, because it stimulates your mind in a way. So when I go out there on the court, I can be free, I can be poised, and everything too. So now I listen to a lot of other type of music that that's just good for the mind, you know, Afro beat, you know, I I got some Adele and all that other stuff too. So it's just it's just fun listening to music, and I grew up around music too. Like I'm, I feel like I'm a soulful type of type of person. I like old school music, and I like 70s, 60s, all that type of stuff. So you know, just music has been my whole life, music, basketball, and everything too. Yeah, I was excited to ask that question because Russell said that he gets his playlist from you. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, yeah. So. It's just it's fun. I play music all the time, though. I feel like music it puts me in a different type of space where I can just just chill and just think about not think about stuff while I think about stuff at the same time, just being positive. Yeah, I always notice before the games, whenever you all are um, like warming up and there's yeah. music, all of you are just smiling and so happy. Yeah, it's, just, it's a joyful happy time. Happy to be there. It's a joyful time. We're getting to dance and then just play the sport that we love too, because I feel like music and basketball has a balance too, and all that stuff too, and life, just, just all that stuff is all a rhythm and a vibration. Yeah, that's a perfect note to end on too. <laughs> um, so that is all I have for today's episode with Trey Jackson. Uh, thank you for tuning in and see you next time.